Hi, this is Trey from SoFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate all of your WordPress users from one site to a new one while keeping the same passwords. So on this site, we have 850 users, and we'll use WPL export to export them out, and we'll use WPL import along with our user import add-on on this site to import them. So let's go back here, and for testing purposes, let's grab one of these users and go ahead and get the password. So we'll go down to generate password, we'll copy that, open up the text file here. So there's the password and the username was right here. Throw that in there. Okay, and we'll update this user. Now let's go to all export, new export. We'll choose users from the drop-down. And let's go ahead and filter out the administrators. So user role doesn't contain administrator, add rule, and continue step two. Here we'll go ahead and go to standard and we'll add the first name and the last name and we'll go into the advanced fields and get the user pass right here and the user pass field actually holds the hashed value from the database of the user password so we'll continue to step three and run the export I'm gonna pause the video while this export runs alright now let's grab the bundle here and go over to the new site now before we run this well, we can go ahead and go through and start the new import. So let's go to new import, upload that bundle, and we'll continue to step two, and continue to step three. So in this field, we can't actually put the user password because we require a plain text password. So we're going to take this out of here go to custom fields and we're going to make our own custom field called transfer user pass and we'll put that element in there now we're going to go to the function editor and we're going to add some code which I've already written so let me go over here and grab the code and we'll put this code in the description below the video so you can copy and paste as well okay alright so what this is doing is this is going to use our PMXI saved post hook and it's going to call this custom function. This function is going to get the XFER user pass we made right here, that meta field, and it's going to insert it into the database as the user's password and then it's going to delete this custom field out of the user meta. So let's save that function and continue to step four. Now here we're going to block the email notifications during the import and continue and run the import. I'm going to pause the video while this import runs. Alright, that's all done. Let's go look at our users. All the users came in. Here's the example user we had, so let's get his information here. So here's the username, and I've opened up the site in Firefox so we can test here. So there's the username, and here's the password from the old site. There you go. Well, he's not an administrator, so do this. And there you go. So all the passwords from the old site have been moved to the new site. So that's how you would transfer users from one site to a new one while keeping the same passwords. Thank you very much for watching.